Hi, this is Shanna with Chicks Addicted to Coupons.blogspot.com. I'm here today to show you my coupon organizing method. This is the binder system. I'm sure you've seen many videos and blogs that have this exact same system on it. In fact, you've probably seen this exact same binder used. This binder was purchased at Walmart for around $8. It was actually on sale. I'm going to go step by step and show you my binder. And I don't know if you can tell it on here, but it is stuffed. Um, it was very, very, very hard to zip. Um, my next video is going to teach you how to be the boss of your binder system um, and kind of go through different ways to cut down on things so that you don't have this problem. Right now it is very, very heavy, and um, I suggest that if you do the binder method, which is actually a really great system, um, please find a binder that has a handle or a strap on it. This one does not have either. It makes it very um, kind of awkward to carry. But um, it's a good system. So kind of take a look at what I'm about to show you here and see if maybe this system works for you. On the front, we have an open pouch here. You can kind of keep whatever you like in here. It has a pocket here. Um, if you're just going to take your binder in when you go shopping, a great idea would be to keep your driver's license, maybe some cash or bank card in here. This little tab that unsnaps is made for your keys here. And then pens and pencils. It has a zipper pouch here, and inside of that I just have my calculator in here. It has a zipper pouch in the front that you can keep whatever you like in here. Um, I actually keep my business cards, and this is little cards I've gotten at um, Vista Print that just talks about our blog. And also, if we run into people in the store that give us your business card, kind of stick it in here. This is um, Kelly's Coupon Addiction com. We ran into her at Publix, and she gave us her card. And I'm a follower on her blog. Um, she finds some really great deals. And then, if you unzip it, I even added some really cute little ribbon to the top of this, hoping that would help me to um, zip it up. Going to go through this pretty quickly because I can talk a lot and um, I know that I have a time limit here. So if you have any questions, please let me know. You can also email me at chicksaddictedtocoupons at gmail.com. In the first part here, this has an accordion file system on this side. Even though it has those accordion pockets, I have actually added my own dividers in what these dividers have on them are different names of different stores, like CBS, Rite Aid, Walgreens, Winn-Dixie. And what I do is, when we get the Sunday paper, I go and take all my sales ads, and I put it in whatever store category here. This is Rite Aid. And then um, in the very back, I have restaurant menus. And the restaurant menus is great when you have all the restaurant coupons and you want to kind of see when you're ordering stuff. You've got your restaurant menus here. And then on this side, this is one of my platforms. I have three zipper pouches. In the first pouch, I have got, um, I keep all of my rain checks clipped together. These three clips, a set of three of these, were at the dollar store. You can get really cute clips and different things at the dollar store. You can also get the baseball card holders there that you use to put your coupons in. And here is a, another clip that was purchased at the dollar store. Anyways, I put all of my rain checks in a clip here. I have some coupons I picked up and need to clip at Walgreens here. And my second pouch has a highlighter. It has um, little paper clips, pencils, pens, and this one has my scissors. I also have a plastic um, divider here. These little notes and extra paper in here. And then on this side, when I print lists and things offline, I keep those in here. Also, um, in Winn-Dixie and Publix, you can pick up the sheet that tells you what aisle all of the products are on. I keep those in here. If I go shopping and I need those, I just refer to those there. And then also put my grocery list down in here when I'm shopping, and I prop this up at the front of the buggy. In um, Publix, when you go into the front, you can pick these great little free shopping lists up. And you can make your list based on that and kind of stick it down in here when you go shopping and everything is right there at your fingertips. That's my All You Magazine. I have to cut my, clip, um, cut my coupons out of those. 
In the front, I also have more store categories. It's the same stores that you see over here on the left, but over here what I have is like CVS is first. All of my CVS coupons are in here. All of my Publix coupons are in Publix. I don't put like my frozen Publix coupons in with my frozen foods because I want to have all my Publix coupons together. And then I have Rite Aid and so on and so forth. Um, whatever stores that you frequent the most, you're going to want to keep up front. If there are stores that you want to have but you don't go in that often, you may want to put those in the back because that is what I have done. And then all the different categories. I have tons of categories. You may choose um, to do less categories, but I have a lot. And you can check those out on the blog. It's in one of my earlier archives. Um, when I first started, I listed the categories. In here, I'm just going to name a few, like um, boxed foods and side dishes. I have like my hamburger helper, macaroni and cheese, um, shake and bake, breads and snacks. In here, I have like the cinnamon bread. I have um, bagels, Slim Jims, cookies, um, gummy worms, and then cold foods and meats. I have like the monkey bread. I have sausage, um, yogurt, biscuits, cookies, um, some more yogurt, banquet meals, toaster strudel, butter, bologna, stuff like that. Okay, another category that I have would be like medicine. I have all different kinds of medicine here. Um, and then toward the back, I do have um, a tab called Yada Yada. Yada Yada is where I just couldn't think of where in the world to put stuff. So like I have for a $5 off a fridge leap, uh, leapfrog magnet. I stuck it in there. I have a Payless, a Rack Room Shoes, an Air Apostle. And then I also, just about in each category, not all of them, but a lot of them, you're going to find that you're going to need a larger pouch type thing to put in um, you know, larger coupons. And I just use the regular sheet protectors, as a lot of people do. Now, um, in the back, the stores that I that I go in, but I don't go in as much as the other ones. Um, Bath and Body, Dollar General, Hobby Lobby, Joann's, Lane Bryant, Michaels, um, places like that. And then I have my restaurants. My restaurant is absolutely full. And then also in the back of the restaurant, I have a large pouch also pouch. It's actually a sheet protector. And then here I have fun stuff. Now the fun stuff is going to be things like bowling, um, DVD rental codes, things for the kids really. Monkey Joe's I have, um, ice cream coupons. I actually have myself a tanning coupon in here where you can get a um, free tanning visit. And then your um, rebate tab. I keep all of my rebates that I can mail in here. And you can also put your receipts for those in there so that you don't lose everything. And then store policies. Um, online you can find different store coupon policies. Keep those with you. That, that's great to have in your coupon um, binder. In the back I have another tab folder. I do keep envelopes that have stores on them like say CVS and Rite Aid. And um, if I'm just going to run in, I might throw a few coupons in those to use while I'm in the store. Um, I like to take my binder in because I hate to see an unadvertised sale, an unadvertised sale, and not be able to purchase the item or not be able to get the deal, rather. So I do use those on occasion, but not all the time. Now, what I do is if I know that I'm going to be shopping at Publix, I make out my list very detailed. And then if I'm going to purchase Shake and Bake at Publix, I'll go ahead and I'll pull out the Shake and Bake coupon. I go up to my Publix up front which is this one. I go to one of the blank pages and then I put all of my Publix in here so that when I go to the store I put the item in my buggy, I take the coupon out and I put it in here and I'm ready to go. All of my coupons will be in here for when I get ready to check out. I know that was a very, very fast video, but this is my um, coupon finder system. I hope that you enjoyed the video, and please continue to watch and subscribe. I'll have a lot more videos coming. So thank you very much, and I'll post another one just as soon as I can. Have a great day. Bye-bye.